Hey! Oh, no. Are we going to have a coughing fit? Oh. Oh, no. We've displeased her, and now she must go. <laughs> really? She does that? She does. She's the Scarlet O'Hara of cats. Oh, baby. Most of the time it's when Dan picks her up because she likes me better. We're going to have a coughing fit now. Do we have a little cough? Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't want to be a famous kitty. Why do you exploit me? I'm so old and sickly. I mean, she's not really. She, 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 you, you have countless anecdotes online about how she's just such a spoiled little brat. She's got me trained enough that, like, she walked up next to the bed today and she can jump up on the bed. She does it all the time. But if I'm in the bed, she'll just sit there and cry until I pick her up so she doesn't have to. Oh, seriously? Well, today her crying didn't work, so she straight up laid down on the floor. Oh, until I picked her up. Like, <laughs> and now she's trying to fuck <laughs> off. She's like, nope, fuck this, I'm out. Kitty, say hello. Hi. She's like Garfield. I hate you guys. She, I, I love, she knows. She adamantly refuses to look anywhere at the camera. Yeah. She knows. All right, all right. Well, you have to let go of my shirt, though. Here we go. We tried plying her with treats, and she's like, no, fuck your treats. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Just she's, doing she is not a showbiz cat. Everything she can to be uncooperative. That's our baby. Oh. That's our that's our grumpy little baby. That's kind of fitting for this show that we have. <laughs> she's like, no, fuck you. Fuck all you. There you go. Scratch your ears. All right. Well, this week. Hello. Oh, this week. The last story this week is just is our it's just making my head hurt. I prepare to be prepare to be aghast when we get there. But don't worry, we, we've got plenty of stupid between here and there to tide you over. The la I will say the last story everyone sent me the last every oh. fucking it was like the Nash signal went off. <laughs> what do you think the Nash signal would look like? <laughs> I was thinking your face going. That would be terrifying projected up into the night sky. Like the Death Eater mark would be like, holy shit, no. He's frozen. It's going to freeze like that. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Cat's like, fuck this. I'm out of here. I want nothing to do with this. We have all hardwood floors. So every time she jumps off something really high, she lands and then like Tokyo drifts <laughs> into the nearest thing she can bump into. Like usually she jumps off the bed and then kind of Tokyo drifts into my laundry basket. She's not the most graceful of animals. All right. Well, here we go. Time for the intro. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With Me? And, you know, I've noticed something in recent weeks that we've had not quite so much Florida as, as we have normally. Yeah. Well, don't worry, we fixed that. It's like they, it's like all of Florida went. You know what? They've got Donald Trump now. Well, nope. They're... They don't need us. Florida's back. Okay, you and I both lived through the nineties. Do you? Most of our audience was in diapers. Yeah. Do you remember the MC Hammer pants? Oh yeah, they're back in style. I see fucking teenagers wearing those things now, and it really upsets and confuses me. Because <laughs> they weren't very good then. They're Why? stupid. Justin Bieber was wearing them a few years ago. Why are you doing it again? Well, at least one person has attempted to put them to practical use. 
Port St. Lucie. Oh, God, I lived not very far from there. Oh, that's where the Mets do spring training. He had what in his pants? Uh-oh. Yes, it's another one of those stories. Things were in the pants. Is it possible to stuff a Sony PlayStation 4 in your pants? All six pounds of it. Wow. Could be argued that whatever sense of accomplishment uh, Christopher Caldwell, 36, may have enjoyed by fitting the gaming console in his trousers, it was overshow overshadowed by being thrown in jail. Law's prevention officer at a Walmart supercenter on South US 1 in Port St. Lucie said he saw Caldwell in the bike department. Caldwell of West Palm Beach is accused of sticking the PlayStation 4 in his pants. Christopher then began concealing the accessories in his pants as well. He left without paying and was stopped. Although the size and style of Caldwell's pest were not listed in the affidavit, affidavit, the dimensions of the gaming console suggest they may have been considerably roomy. Pants fitting that description include so-called hammer pants, which are strikingly generous in the thigh crotch area, were popularized by 1990s rapper MC Hammer. Real name, Stanley Kirk Burl. Wow, someone is trying to get their word count up. Yeah, we are just padding the fuck out of that word count, aren't we? No, it keeps going. Harem pants, often worn by belly dancers, also fit the bill. A, 20, a November 2012 article in Vanity Fair talks of Justin Bieber's affinity for harem pants and describes them as a supremely unflattering style of trousers that droop above the knee like an oversized diaper before tapering down the ankle. That article... are friendlier for sperm motility. If you're, if you're going for fertility, they say the looser pants the better. So, you know, if you want strong swimmers, maybe that's what Hammer was going for. Who, who wrote this article? W. Greenlee. Will Greenlee. Wow. I feel, like I feel like we've seen him before. I know. Motherfucker was just padding Isn't that, that shit out. the name of the really incompetent detective in Boondock Saints that Willem Dafoe just fucks with the whole movie? Maybe. It's Isn't possible. It detective Greenlee? It's possible. I just... Okay. Oh, my lighting is terrible. I didn't turn on all my lights. I don't care how big your pants are. If you fill them with six pounds of something, you're waddling. Well, in a PlayStation, like, that box is big. That's... <laughs> and not very comfy. Why, sir, is that a PS4 in your pants? Can you just see the bastard walking out past the greeter? Thank you! I'll come back next time! Nobody's that happy to see you. <laughs> sir? Sir? Is that a PlayStation? No, it's my joystick. I kind of doubt that. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I don't know... Uh, I don't know who you thought you were fooling there. This It's always... They have Maybe the... Maybe stick to the portable gaming system. Maybe stick to, like... Oh, God. Is Nintendo DS still a thing? 3DS. Okay. Or actually I mean, new 3DS. I play like Rock Band, so <laughs> I don't know video game things. So. Well, I, uh, I just love, okay, this was, this was a plan that he had. He planned to walk into a Walmart, unpack a PlayStation 4, shove it in and the accessories in his pants and walk out unnoticed. He thought this was the good idea. Yeah. You know, th we this need- It's not, in fact, a good idea. <laughs> Please, Hammer, don't stuff it in your pants. I know. They tried to stop him on the way out of the store. Yeah. And he was like, can't touch this. Oh, fuck's sake, Tara. And he thought about not stealing all the accessories, but then he realized this crime was too legit to quit. Can I work in that Adam's Family song somehow? I don't think so. We're all very disappointed in you. Yeah, I know. That was that was going to be a really long shot, though. 
I just, we, we, you know, we need to like, people are concerned about putting an age restriction on like violent movies or sexual movies. I think we need to put like an age restriction on like heist movies. Because people... This guy didn't get this idea from a heist movie. No, you no. Know why no? Because no heist movie involves <laughs> shoving a PS4 down your pants. It's not in any. That's not in Ocean's 11, 12, 13. I, it encourages that. people who should not make plans to make plans. They think if they can do it in the movies, I can. And your plans are not as good. You're not even as good as Ocean's 13. You're not even as good. This is not as good as Ocean's yeah, I thought 13. Ocean's 13 was a lot better than Ocean's 12. Ocean's 12 was bad. This is this is still not as good as that though. No. Ah. Uh, well, let's move on along. Okay. We've all gotten a traffic ticket at some point in our lives, and it sucks. But no matter what happens, once the cop has pulled you over and has begun to cite you for a ticket, you're getting a ticket. That's how it works. There are very few ways out of that. And one of those ways is not stealing the cop's pen. You know... Man steals traffic officer's pen so he can't write tickets. That's creative. Fort Greene, a man tried to take away a traffic officer's power to ticket by blocking his license plate and then stealing the officer's pen. 37-year-old traffic agent was performing his duties outside of El Toro Taquiera on Fort Greene Place when a 24-year-old told him, if I ever see you around here... I am going to fuck you up. Don't say that to the cops either. Especially the fucking NYPD. Holy shit. When the traffic officer then attempted to issue a summons, the man prevented him from doing so by blocking the registration sticker with his hand and then blocking a vehicle's license plate with his body. The perpetrator also took the traffic officer's blue stylus pen from his hand, which the NYPD valued at $5. The man was charged him with petty larceny. <laughs> okay. I can't write you a ticket. You know what I can do? I can arrest you. I can bring you with me to a place where there's more pens. Yes. They have lots of pens. Yeah. At this building where they pay me money. Let's go there. And they put you in a nice little cage. Gonna put you in a little room and you can't go home. What the f- that's not how the- They're not just gonna go, oh god, he's got my pen. I am undone. <laughs> no! My one weakness. The lack of- oh wait, I've got a gun. That's not- cause seriously. And a taser. And, a taser. and, and handcuffs. And are not shy about using either one. And- <laughs> And handcuffs and- The way fucking cops are now, you're probably lucky that motherfucker didn't claim you assaulted him and shoot you in the face. It's just... <laughs> okay, straight out of Zenith, straight out of penmanship. <laughs> nice. I mean, this... yeah, they have other things they can use, like handcuffs and often a partner. You know, I loved Hot Fuzz too. That was a really good movie. But when 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 Nick Angel says that his notepad is his best weapon, that's 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 a metaphor. Yeah, that's not how because really also, his, I'm pretty sure he's the kind of guy that carries a spare pen. Yes. I, I feel like he's got a little package of pens in the console in the middle. I mean, it's it, you don't how how is this going to work? If he can't see my license plate or registration, then I was never here, technically. It, this is not like, you know what this reminds me of? Rules lawyers and role-playing games. Ugh. Oh, that little motherfucker who thinks, no, no, I found this loophole in the game rules, therefore you can't stop me. This is what happens when they get in the real world and get a little confused. 
Yeah. That's that's not how that that's not how that works. Or the kind of people who think that home equals safe. <laughs> you can't, can't get me. Can't write me a ticket. Can't do it. <laughs> that's not that's, how that that's, works. That's not how the world works, though, Sparky. Uh, that's not how things like that work. It's not. Uh, fun, but no. Speaking of trying to get around technicalities, oh boy. Okay, we've all had the liquid problem, which is such bullshit. When you get go through the TSA, going oh. going through the TSA. I was the, agree, getting a little incontinent in your old age. We're the same age, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah. yeah, I know. The the when you go through the TSA, you have you have to have a certain size bag with certain size liquids, and if it's over that size, you have to all of which is bullshit yeah and doing nothing to actually keep you safe by nope. the way well someone i saw an article that like you could did i say this last week that you could get past security and just with the shops that are waiting in the concourse uh, you could make something like you could make something to effectively hijack a plane or blow it up or whatever and i said that and dan was like oh yeah i could take down a plane with what's in the duty for you and i'm like great you realize you're never flying again now, right? He has like special <laughs> something. He doesn't even have to go through security, really. I've had I've had drinks when I've gone through security, and the first thing I thought was, well, and you chug it. Mm-hmm. This was not the best plan in all instances. This comes to us from China. No liquid allowed in carry on. Woman drinks entire bottle of cognac. Oh my goodness. At Beijing Air Airport security. She was so drunk, she was banned from boarding. Counterproductive. We've all been stopped at air, airport security with a forgotten bottle of water, which we can either toss away or drink quickly in front of airport security. What happens if the liquid is not water, but entire bottle of European cognac? For airline passenger Mrs. Al, there was only one solution. Slam it back at once. <laughs> like, I respect this chick. I hope she wasn't vomiting for hours. Zhao was transferring to a Wenzhou flight at, in Beijing airport at noon on August 21st when she was stopped at airport security. The worker told the woman in her 40s that she was not able to bring the imported cognac through security checkpoint in her carry-on. As it was too late to transfer the con cognac to her checked-in luggage, Zhao did what any responsible person that hates wasting food would do. She sat down at a quarter and drank the entire bottle of cognac herself. This created a new security problem, though, as, and it had to do with the bottle of cognac that was now inside her. Zhao started acting wildly and yelling incoherently. Due to her massive inebriation, when Zhao fell to the floor, that's where she stayed. Yeah, I imagine so. <laughs> when police arrived at the scene, they decided not to let her board her flight out of concern. She'd become a security risk. She was taken to a convalescent room and checked out by a doctor. It wasn't until 7 p.m. when she sobered up and realized what she was done. What she had done. That, Holy shit. That lady is kind of a badass. <laughs> like, no, you may not confiscate my booze. I'm gonna drink it all right now. I might not get home, <laughs> but I won't care. I won't. I won't know who the fuck I am. Wow, that's a lot of cognac. Yeah, is that something you're supposed to drink in large amounts? No, that's one of those. You know, they give you like that. You get those with those snifter. Yeah, right? and just like that much. Yeah. Especially, the, if this was good enough imported shit that she didn't want to waste it. That she chugged the whole thing. Holy shit! Wow. That is, her entire family line got drunk. <laughs> Anyone related to her suddenly went, well, I ain't feeling right all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? That's impressive now a bottle of cognac is one thing a bottle of good cognac her liver was just like what's happening holy shit Here in this airport i can get a cigar <laughs> jesus that's a smoking jacket 
her liver just pretty much went into a panic attack. It was like, this is not a drill. This is not a fucking drill. What's happening? To her liver, it was the end of the world. That's like, if you have you ever been at work and had somebody come up to you and give you all their work? That's what her liver had to deal with. <laughs> oh my God. Kidneys, can you help me out here? Nope, all you. Nope, it's all you, man. Sorry. We're, we're done. We're fucking, we'll be back in about six hours to help you out. And just and her parents had. At least the airport has plenty of carbs you could use to soak that up. Her family had to come get her too. Yeah, that's one of those. T she because I feel like they're not gonna trade in your ticket for you. Then they should, <laughs> but I feel like they won't. They'll be like, "No, you gotta buy a new ticket." Excuse me, she did what? Because <laughs> it'd been my family. They'd be like, "No, you can keep him." Uh-uh, you, 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 you keep him. We don't want him. I feel like if it had been my, been my family, they would have been like, damn right. The Irish don't waste booze. On my parents' honeymoon, my mom once made the pub. Everybody had bought them drinks, and they went to my dad's hometown in Ireland. And my mom was, her her etiquette thing was, you you always drink a drink that someone has bought you, which is a really dangerous thing to teach three young girls when you're raising them, by the way. I never really understood that logic from my parents, but they were like, if anyone buys you a drink, you have to drink it. And I'm like, in the age of roofies, really? Okay. <laughs> but everybody in my dad's hometown had bought her a drink and they were closing the bar and she was like, no, I have not finished my drinks. So they like basically found like a fucking big gulp cup and poured all of her <laughs> Oh God. And she took them with her. They gave her a fucking to-go cup. Holy shit. So I feel like my family would be like, no, goddamn right, you don't waste that booze. Oh. Our next one is back to Florida. Oh, God. You know, there are many ways to ingratiate yourself with a judge, but tits are not one of them. Woman flashes judge in Broward Bond Court. Suzanne Surratt, 54, of Fort Lauderdale, was arrested on Wednesday for disorderly intoxication. When Judge John Hurley asked Surratt what she does for employment, she says she works as an escort and porn star named Kayla Cupcakes. That's a terrible porn star name, that by the way. That is. Cause it's... Unless your whole shtick is <clears throat> you're like... Baking pastry porn? related somehow. Yeah, like your whole thing, your whole porn series is about how you own one of those dirty bakeries and you spend a lot of time getting bent over the mixer. Let's shall we? Let, I'll show everyone the video while we're while we're doing here because we've got we have the video here in the background. While the judge asked Surrett what she does for employment, she said she worked as an escort. While the judge was reading her charges in bog court, Surrett made some disturbing claims about being rough housewife policed. That's net bad. But what she did next, however, left the courtroom in shock. I've been beaten on by police, Surrett told the judge, quote, also this too. And she proceeded to lift her shirt and flash the judge. Let's see if we can get to that point in the... Video. Yeah, she's pointing at her. Sh she's on her shoulders, and also tits. Uh, she was trying to show him no. the bruises from where the cops beat her. Yeah, but maybe she was like, "Look, I have bruised ribs." But she also did. Uh, lady, why? Not a great strategy. Okay, well, I guess that kind of sums everything up, says Hurley, as Surrett was escorted from the from the courtroom. Her bond was set as a hundred dollars. I mean, it kind of worked then, right? <laughs> Get her the fuck out of here. Get her the fuck out of here. Get her the just, fuck out of here. Just send her home. Just get her the fuck out of here. 20 bucks. Just just send her home. 
you know, I'm, I must be, I, I guess I'm weird or something because I don't want to see boobs uninvited. You know? I, I don't, I, everyone's like, oh, I see boobs at all times, boobs, boobs, boobs. No. Unless they're feeding a baby, in which case that's offensive. <sighs> and put those away. I, that's not what they're for. I'm not, I'm not, you know, the, I'm not, unless I have a personal investment with owner of said boobs in an emotional context, I'm not all about, oh, okay, let's see them. It's, it's, you know, it's not like all the fucking, everyone, I will see boobs at any given, no, no, I don't get well, that. I'm glad that the many, many times I have considered flashing during this bit that I have restrained myself. Yeah, well, don't do that because I, I have, won't have a show anymore. I, I wouldn't do that even if this was that kind of show. Of course, now you know the way, you know what, what, I'm sick of doing this shit. Good night, everybody. We're done. That would be the end right there. There you go. Well, I don't think you doing this would have much effect. No, me? No, nah, nobody give a shit. People would be like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying you're a dude. You're not going to get thrown off the chat off you stream for that. You'd have to flash something else. Yeah. To no. get fired or. You know, no, if I just pulled up my shirt, people would go blind. Which would kind of suck because there would go my entire audience. Well, you could go back to just audio then. <laughs> Save uh, yourself some tech. It's just, I don't constantly, I, I, this whole, must see boobs, must see everyone boobs. I never gotten that. And when people, when, when pe women are like, woo, I'm all like, okay, that's, I'll be over here. I never got the point of the Girls Gone Wild videos because it seemed like like you were going to pay a lot of money for a two hour DVD of chicks doing this. And I don't think that's terribly exciting. Like, I don't I, I never bought one. Maybe other stuff happens on those videos. But I'm like, if it's two hours of dumb, drunk college girls lifting their shirts, there's a lot of places you could see that for free. Just college. Yeah. Just go to a college. And some dude made himself a millionaire on that shit. And I was like, well, but there's an audience for everything, I guess. I, and you know, while it, I'm pretty sure the judge is not going to be impressed enough with your tits to just but let you know. But apparently he was. <laughs> well, no, he had her. It, she still had to pay a hundred dollar bond to get out of there. It's pretty low. I don't think it was the, I don't think it was because he liked what he saw. It's Florida, man. Who knows? That's a good point. That is a good point. Oh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. <gasps> Where did it go? I think I have it over here. Where is it? Um, Oh, this one. Okay, we've had a lot of stories in the really real news about cops doing some inappropriate things. That's, that's the understatement of the decade. Do you remember like about, a, uh, yeah, it was about a month back, there was an explosion at a federal science lab. Do you no. remember that? Oh, well, let's talk about that now. I know, like, last week, the science lab in a Bronx high school blew the fuck up. Well, no, this 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 is a federal science lab. And uh, the reason it explode... No. ...was because there was a meth lab in it. And the reason there was a meth lab in it was because a cop was trying to cook meth. Former federal police officer is set to plead guilty to trying to manufacture methamphetamine at a science lab in Washington suburbs, causing an explosion. Christopher Bartley, 41, uh, says he'll enter a guilty plea. The lawyer says Bartley wasn't trying to make methamphetamine for his personal use. Instead, Bartley was conducting an unauthorized training experiment, which failed. 
Oh. His client okay. wanted to learn more about how meth is made in order to train the officers he supervised. Okay, you know what you do? Go find a scientist! Yeah. You could ask somebody. Watch an instructional video. There's a lot of ways to do this that don't involve cooking up some fucking meth. Yes! Read a book! Read a book! Read a motherfucking book! Don't be like, well, I must be hands-on. I, I'm a kinesthetic learner. I have to learn by doing. Did you ever used to see uh, the naked, what was it, the naked gun uh, police squad? That old TV show. Uh, any of those movies. They had like this this jokey scientist guy. Who, all the Police Academy movies. Uh, police Squad had like this jokey scientist guy who worked at the police building. And he would like make, make gadgets for Leslie Nielsen's character. And it was neat and all, but you know what? That was a comedy! It's not well, real! A designated guy for that. Yeah. Are you the science man? Are you the science man? If you have to think about it, you probably are not the science man. I feel like this is not a true reason. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. I feel like maybe he's fibbing just a little yeah. bit. No! A police officer? I'm just saying. It doesn't sound like... A really ironclad excuse. To a me. duly appointed agent of the law? Yes. Tara! How no, could no. you? Now no. you're a communist! Did we not know that? Oh, yeah, that's okay. I'm hippie liberal scum, like. Yeah. Oh, no! And I am also apparently, according to the comments, a hateful fear mongerer of technology. That's why I don't ever read the comments. <laughs> I love the comments. If, if you're watching this video right now, recorded, and you're on one of this, like, that got the glasses or YouTube or something, then I don't read it. You're writing to no one. <laughs> Enjoy. Well, she'll read it because she's crazy, but <laughs> I don't want to read the comments. It hurts. All right, our last one tonight. This is literally, uh -oh. this is the story everyone sent. Uh, okay, so. Did I just leave him out? <laughs> He's out cold. Uh, all right, let's see. This one comes to us from Iowa. Well, actually, the, the I, Massachusetts, but it this comes to us originally. The people involved are from Iowa, so you you know about these game tournaments, right? Where they'll have like bunches of people together to play like Magic the Gathering or yeah. or Yu Gi Oh or something. It's like competitive, and there's like prizes and shit, and it's serious business. Yeah. Apparently, it is crazy-ass serious business. Two men arrested after gun threats at the Pokemon World Championship. What? Police say 18-year-old Kevin Norton and 27-year-old James Stumbo had a 12-gauge shotgun, an AR-15... Hundreds of rounds of ammo and a hunting knife in their vehicle. Stumbo had posted a photo of the guns resting on a car Wednesday to a Facebook group called, quote, Mayhem Pokemon Crew. The caption read, Kevin Norton and I are ready for the world's Boston. Here we come. I don't think AR-15 is a Pokemon you can choose. <laughs> no. I don't think I have ever heard any kid. Well, I mean, I don't watch the show, but I don't think I've ever heard anyone saying semi-automatic. I choose you. I don't think that's how it works. Um, now, some people are, have been saying, well, they just made a joke on Facebook. Why you got to be hating? 
No. Because, well, two more reasons come up. Number one, 250 rounds of ammunition. Yeah. And number two, neither one of them had a fucking permit. And why do you need those for the Pokemon tournament? <clears throat> why do you need an assault rifle at the Pokemon tournament? Is a Bruce Willis movie going to break out at the Pokemon tournament? Yeah, it's Is not there like... going to be a Pokemon gang war? It's not like, oh no, suddenly, you know, you're, you're, you're trapped in Nakamura Tower... And you have to win the Pokemon tournament and take out Hans Gruber. That's not how that works. That would up the stakes. <clears throat> Fuck. Yeah, people are saying it was a joke. You know, I'm picturing a guy, some elevator doors opening and a dead guy and his shirt says, now I have a Charizard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but, yeah, people are saying it's a joke. Jokes. That's, have you been in America in the last, let's see, three months? Let's see, what happened? We had the uh, shooting in Louisiana in the um, uh, the movie theater. Yeah. Or the one just the other day at the federal office in New York. Yeah. Or, or in the church. In and the Charleston. church in Charleston, South Carolina. Have you been in America at yeah. all? That's not funny. Also, it's not a joke if they actually brought the guns there. Seriously! You don't get to play the it was just a joke card if you actually brought the guns there. Because why would you do that? Why would you carry your non-permit guns across several state lines just so you could be like, her, her, that was funny. You wouldn't do that because that's stupid. I mean, not that people never do anything stupid. But you wouldn't do that because it's pointless. 200, even if you want to try to say the self-defense argument, 250 rounds of ammunition... Are you trying to defend yourself from actual Pokemon? Yeah, like what the fuck are you defending yourself against? Jigglypuff? War Tortoise or whatever the fuck it's called? Those are all the Pokemon I know. I know Pikachu, Charizard, and Jigglypuff. Oh, and there's one called Purloin, because my nephew had that card. Also, I don't think a fucking assault rifle is going to work on Mewtwo. I don't think those are, those are tournament approved modifiers. No. Okay, Jared says, maybe it was a d ditto disguised as an AR-15. A what? It's a ditto. Ditto can become any Pokemon. Oh, okay. Like I said, I know like four Pokemon. <laughs> Babufu in the channel. Hello, I'm Professor Oak. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Put on your vests and grab a gat. Shit just got real. See, and like, my nephew plays Pokemon. He tried to teach me, didn't... He kicked my ass every time. I think he probably cheated. I don't want to think about my nephew. Not, not that I think he cares enough to go to the world championships. It's just the thing he plays at school. But I don't want to think about my nephew going to the fucking Pokemon world championships and getting shot up. I mean, if you want to talk about self-defense... Number one, why are you bringing an AR-15? It's a lousy self-defense weapon. But number two, 250 rounds of ammo. No, that is that is shit that they read about in the paper. Would I'm so glad that people actually went on on Facebook and went yo, and they reported it to the convention, who reported it to the uh, hotel, who reported it to the police, who put their ass in jail. I'm very happy that someone said that something. I get that shit gets competitive and no matter what hobby you're involved in, it gets competitive and you want to be the best at it. And like we LARP and we've watched people, we've watched fucking friendship dies, friendships die over adult make believe. Like yeah. I get it at the point when you are going to a tournament for a children's card game with a trunk full of fucking weaponry. You should rethink your life. Yeah. You need a grown-up timeout. You need to stop and take stock and be like, maybe I should redo some... Oh, oh, God. I'm not even going to comment on this. I'm just going to let people take it as they will. Here's the picture they posted on Facebook. 
And I want you to take very careful note. Right there on the picture, on the uh, just to the uh, left of the Ford decal on their uh, trunk, that's the National Rifle Association. NRA. I I don't do I I don't even need to make a comment there. Take that and as you will. Well, you know we need to get these illegal Pokemon out of our country. They're taking our jobs. I guess that's the first thing we learned this week. Don't bring a gun to a Pokeball fight. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up, don't it? We learned that... Trying to hide electronics in your pants and escape the Walmart is not a plan. If you're going to do the stuff it down your pants style of robbery, you need to pick small things. Small things. Compact things. When you try... When you try yes, four. When you try to load your bitches... Load your, load your, when you try to load your britches with... with uh, a gaming console, you have graduated into the realm of shenanigans. That's not that. That is no longer a crime. That is now a debacle. You are you are an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Stick to like an iPhone. Yeah. <clears throat> why? Why? God damn it! Why do we help them, Dara? Stop helping them. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't. When. We also learned this week, just because you take the cop's pen away does not mean you're not in trouble. Yeah. That doesn't mean you win. That's not, yeah, it's not, you haven't found the, oh, I found the, that one secret trick that all cops hate. That's not what you've discovered. That would be kind of hilarious though, wouldn't it? Find if out. all this time we didn't know that, that they're allowed one pen. <laughs> Their entire career. It's the one pen, and if they lose that pen, they lose their power. Now I'm out of a job. Have great epic stories about cops who went on quest to reclaim their lost pen. We've learned sometimes, no matter how good the booze is, sometimes just let it, Indiana, just let it go. I don't know, man. I respect that lady. <laughs> I mean, only because she's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's certainly not the safest route to go, <sighs> but it's the fucking baller route to go. <laughs> We've learned that boobs are not the solution to every problem. Also not the legal system's secret weakness. No. Finally, we learned this week, if you are not the science guy, do not do the science. No. I know I'm dumbing it down a bit here, shall we say. But if you are not the science guy, do not be doing the science thing. Just leave the science to the science people. Yes. And leave the meth dealing to the meth dealers. Yeah. Because you're not good. He's not good at either. No. That's... You are awarded no points. And may God have mercy on your soul. You blew up the federal science lab with this shit. It's not like it's not like you get a bonus to your stats if you go to an actual science lab to perform the experiment. Well, no, but I mean, I feel like it would be easier to do it there. Like the equipment is available to you instead of having to buy all that shit. Well, when you say easier, when you're already dumb as a box of rocks, easier is not that you're not lowering the difficulty enough. Cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's thriftier. Because you don't got to buy all that shit. So really, if you don't have to, if you don't have to put out any money to get the equipment, it's all profit. Our savings are explosive. <laughs>